good afternoon now we are going to discuss role of biochemistry department co supervisor what is the importance of biochemistry more than 70 to 80% post graduate students need help of biochemistry department in their thesis research work it may be regarding routine biochemical testing immuno assays or special dedicated parameters in their thesis work so before finalizing the thesis topic it is very important that you contact some faculty in biochemistry to confirm the feasibility of the selected parameter whether it can be done or it cannot be done in the department what is the cost effectiveness or availability of the methods in the department suppose you want to do something which can be done only by lcms but it is not present in the department so this cannot be done so this should be confirmed you have to once you discuss your thesis topic and you decide about your co supervisor in the particular in the department then you discuss the pathophysiology and role of selected parameter in the disease what is the proper mechanism of action and what are the parameters to be finally selected so that certain relevant parameters if required may be added or deleted in the protocol once you decide about the parameters and everything then when you are writing the methodology in your protocol you have to consult your co supervisor for writing methodology properly in the protocol and now you have written your protocol you have submitted it and it is accepted now you have to start sample collection for your thesis work so before starting sample collection consult your co supervisor for for method of sample collection to confirm the proper container regarding if you have to collect serum or plasma or urine in which containers it should be collected then how will you prepare your samples for processing whether you need to centrifuge them then centrifuge where at what speed how you want to how you have to separate serum plasma or urine and most important is storage of separated sample for special parameters and what should be the temperature for sample storage this all you will decide after consulting your co supervisor please remember that pg student is responsible for sample delivery and report collection means they will collect their samples deliver it to the department and from department they will collect back their reports so for tests which are done on routine basis thesis related samples will be processed on day to day basis with other samples reports for thesis related samples should be collected by the student from the department and samples for special tests are to be collected and stored as per instructions till processing so how will you store the sample so collected samples and separated serum plasma or urine samples are to be stored in dedicated properly labeled plastic boxes a box something like which i have shown you in this slide the box should have a label on it and it should have name of a student and their concerned department name of co supervisor and supervisor and mobile number of the student so that he or she can be contacted in case of any need many of the tests like immuno assays or many costly tests are the paid tests so uh, you have but it is free for the cgts patient so for doing them in the thesis as a academic uh, activity a uh, blanket permission from medical superintendent is to be taken for non cghs patients for pre sample testing for this 
a request letter has to be written by the guide addressed to medical superintendent and duly forwarded by your head of the department for grant of permission for free testing. Now, there is always a confusion that who is going to procure the reagents. Many times demand has been sent from the clinical departments to the purchase department for procuring the reagent kits. But please understand, it is the responsibility of the biochemistry course supervisor uh, for procuring the required reagents. Course supervisor will send the reagent demand at appropriate time. They will decide and frame the specifications for the reagent kits and also decide about the quantity required as per the sample number. So sample collection and sample storage is student's responsibility in consultation with their co-supervisor. But sample processing is co-supervisor's responsibility. How? Co-supervisor will get the test validation and standardization of the test. They will process the samples with the help of concerned students. They will give the results of the processed samples to the PG students. And PG student has to be present at the time of sample processing for the special test to help. Now you have collected your samples, all your samples have been processed and you are ready with the results of the uh, uh, results to be documented in your thesis. So after getting the, uh, before getting the statistical analysis or after getting the st statistical analysis for your results, consult your course supervisor for interpretation and clinical correlation of the results with the disease process and for detailed methodology and results to be written in your thesis you should do it after consultation of the biochemistry right so best wishes for your thesis as well